What is up my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. A happy, happy new year to every single one of you guys who are watching. I hope that this year brings you nothing but joy and prosperity and I hope that it's better than 2021 and I hope that it is a stepping stone to where you want to go in the future. A year ago I released a video looking at a, some of the plants that I would like to acquire in 2021. I'm pleased to report that of the 14 plants, I have acquired 9.5 um, <laughs> of those plants. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what those plants are. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, guys. I didn't think I would have as many as I do, um, but I do. And I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really blessed. So let's get into it. So the first group of plants that I was interested in growing uh, a collection in was the alocasia. In that video, I spoke about two plants uh, only, uh, and I'm pleased to report that I have both of them. So the first plant that I spoke about was the alocasia Friedek, um, and I really did love the plant. I saw pictures of it; it just looks, it just looked glorious. It has those white veins against like a, uh, that green leaf, and I was really keen to get that plant into my collection. It took me a little bit longer than I thought um, because they weren't readily available at the start of the year, but then they became uh, more common uh, towards the end of the year. So I've had it in my collection for just a little while. And let me show you what that plant looks like today. There it is. It's still a little baby. It's still very, very small. It has its two original leaves on it still, and it's produced these two lovely, gorgeous leaves for me um and I'm, I'm really happy i'm really blessed to have this plant in my collection let's look at it ah oh, see if i can get it to stop wiggling around just look at that that is a lovely lovely plant um yeah and i think you know alocasia uh is one that i always forget how gorgeous they are uh until i get i see them in videos or in other people's collection uh i think for, for the next year for this year in fact i'm going to be trying to get my hands on a Jacqueline, uh, uh, which is just a gorgeous plant, really different. But yeah, this is it. This is the Alocasia Friday. Really glad to have this one in my collection. The second allocation that I really wanted to add to my collection was the Black Velvet. And guys, I've done it. I've got it in my collection. I've got it growing in pond. It's doing absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's lost two of its original leaves, but it's also replaced them with two more even gorgeous leaves, even slightly bigger. So I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. Also, ah, oh, look at it. How can you not want this plant in your collection? It's just so, just eye-catching, it's, it's really beautiful. The next category of plants that I wanted to add or increase my collection in was the Anthurium. As you guys know, I think it's probably my favorite genus of plant. Uh, I, just, I just love the way that they, that they grow, the growth pattern. Um, I like that a lot of them have that velvety leaf. Um, I like the fact that you have to be on top of them and it requires us that little bit more care and attention. It makes me feel more engaged with the plant. Um, and I was looking at uh, predominantly uh, strap leaf and anthuriums uh, when I released that first video. Uh, I spoke about three and I've only got two of those three. The first that I spoke about uh, was the Anthurium vitarifolium, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. In that video, I spoke about it having really prehistoric vibes to it because these leaves, although this one is very, very short, uh, about the length of my hand, um, they do tend to grow absolutely huge leaves. These leaves uh, can, I've seen them, you know, a meter plus. Uh, and in the wild even longer than that so they're really gorgeous plants really different really unique um, so I'm really pleased to have this one uh, as you can see there's a bit of a yellowing leaf over here but it's also got a little baby I'm really I'm trying to be really gentle with this plant because the last time I tried to pet the leaf uh, this happened it broke so I'm just trying to be a little bit more gentle this is still uh, one of my favorite anthuriums and it just does what it needs to do um yeah it, it it doesn't tend to hold on to too many leaves actually um and i don't know if that's just me but every time it, it you know it grows a new leaf the older one tends to tends to die back but each leaf 
uh, is getting longer and more luxurious than the last. So I'm really happy with this plant. The final interim that I spoke about in my wish list video was this one right here. This is the King Anthurium or the Anthurium Vici. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Um, I bought this as maybe a two or three leaf cutting. Uh, this is the oldest leaf on the plant. You can see it's starting to weather a little bit. Um, and then it just threw out a couple of, you know, this one was a little bit deformed. This was the first one it, it threw out. And uh, yeah, they, they sort of went back before it threw this big, huge leaf that's about the same size as the original. So I'm really happy to have this plant in my collection and it complements my queen and ethereum that you guys have seen in previous videos um yeah and it's just i'm really i'm really glad to have this one um it took me a while to source this actually because for a long time the prices were sky high they were yeah really really high uh, which was a which was a shame i finally found this one for a reasonable price i think this one is the wide form i would have loved to have the narrow form, I actually prefer the look and, and shape of that one. So perhaps I might uh, add that one to my collection in the future. But for now, the Ethereum VTI is just a stunner, absolutely beautiful. So the next plant that I spoke about in my wish list video uh, was the Fiddle Leaf Fig. Uh, I showed you guys I had a very small, squat, bambino version of this plant, and I wanted a bigger one. I wanted a tall one. I wanted the the regular form of the bigger leaves. Um, this was a little bit of a cheat uh, because I actually haven't bought a, a large uh, fiddle leaf fig. What I have done though is grown that, that bambino into a huge plant. Here it is guys, the bambino version that I had is now a tree. Just look at that, these are the original leaves on the bottom, you can see, see very squat, very small. But it's just grown so much. It's grown so much, so now I don't actually have a need to go out <laughs> and purchase a large form of the fiddle leaf fig. And it's just doing really, really well. It slowed down over the winter months, uh, but now I've got it under a grow light and it's now taken off again. So all of these top leaves uh, from, from this one here is all new in the past maybe two months or so. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's grown a lot. So I can only imagine for 2022 that this plant is absolutely going to take off and it's going to rival uh, my rubber tree in the back there. <laughs> so let's see who beats it to the top. Oh God, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. And it didn't cost me any money, so that's great. So the next family of plants that I spoke about was the Hoya. Uh, and I spoke about two plants in particular, and I'm pleased to say that I actually have both of those plants in my collection. The first one was the Hoya Goblosa, uh, this one uh, is was sold to me as the Velosa, but I know that there is some uh, debate as to whether this plant, the Velosa, is the Goblosa uh, or if it's a separate plant. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that it is the Goblosa because, yeah, I think it looks uh, exactly the same as the one that I showed you in the video. It's the exact one that I was going for, that sort of, uh, what's, what's the shape? It's sort of rounded um rectangular type leaves it's got some fluff some fuzz to the leaf as well i don't know if you guys can see that so i just i think it's a gorgeous plant uh, and very different very unique to any other plant that i have in my collection the other hoya that i spoke about was this one right here the fua wenzis guys and i'm so pleased to have this one um it's a little bit of a scattish sort of grower this one sort of just grew a very, very long tendril for me. So I've just sort of wrapped it back on itself. Um, I think it's it's due a sort of repot and a stake, most importantly. Um, so I'm going to try to do that sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a gorgeous plant. Again, it's got that sort of fuzzy, not as fuzzy as the, as the previous leaf, as the previous plant. Um, but it has a little bit of fuzz. Very cardboard-like leaves, very hard um leaves and i just love the speckling on them this one's a little bit lighter but i think it will darken up and turn into something more like this one if the camera decides to focus there we go Ooh, almost anyway yeah it's just a really good plant got it grown in lecca and in my mini greenhouse and it's just loving life it's doing really well so really pleased to say to add this one to my collection um and i hope that in 2022 it grows more it gets more full as well. That would be great because I would love it to have some more leaves 
uh, just to add to the beauty of this plant. So in my previous video, I also spoke about this plant right here, the Monstera adansonii. As I said, guys, this one wasn't the a, a rare plant by any means. I actually got this one as like a two leaf cutting for only like three pounds. So it's really cheap really affordable plant. I just wanted it to complement my other Monstera, the Deliciosa behind me. Um, and yeah, why not? I think these leaves are very nice. They're very, you know, unique, uh, just really gorgeous plants. At the moment, it's only one vine, so I'm hoping to propagate and create a fuller pot. So yeah, so that's it. There's nothing more to report. I'm sure everyone is very familiar with this plant, but yeah, a gorgeous one all the same. So moving on to the final family of plants that I spoke about in my wish list video. Uh, this is the philodendron section. Um, I, I, I didn't know what I was thinking about. Uh, I spoke about um, the uh, philodendron uh, belletai um, variegated. I don't think I'll be able to afford one of those plants for a long, long time. <laughs> um, I also spoke about the philodendron hesprocaspidon. A gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I was this close to having one in my collection. Unfortunately, that fell through. Um, and I also spoke about this plant right here, which you guys have seen in my previous video. This is the Philodendron Patriciae. This is the one of all of those plants that I've just spoken about. This is the one I thought that I wouldn't get my hands on, and I'm so, so pleased to have it. It's only a juvenile uh, one. But yeah, still, I'm very happy, very blessed to have it in my collection. Um, and I, it's growing really rapidly, really quickly. This is the most recent leaf. It's still sort of hardening off. It's still very soft. Uh, and it's already pushing out another leaf uh, over here. And there's another smaller plant. So it's got two growth points. And that's also pushing out more leaves. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased to have this one. This was, as I said, now the whole video at the time. This one, this is the one I... I least expected to have in my collection so i'm really really pleased to have it at the start of the video i said i had 9.5 plants out of 14 um and the reason for that uh was because of this one right here this is a philodendron bilitai cross i think it's cross of the uh atobalbawensis oh god uh, i know that's not how you pronounce it but yeah this is this is a quite a, a recent purchase for me maybe the last two months or so last month actually um yeah it's 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 uh it's not quite the one that i wanted but it's close enough for now it will keep me satisfied until i can get my hands on an actual billetai uh <laughs> yeah but it's, it's still gorgeous they have a very similar growth pattern uh very similar leaf shape it gives me that spirit of sancti vibe or the the poor man's uh spirit of sancti uh yeah so I'm, yeah I, I mean i can't complain guys it's an absolutely gorgeous little plant um and i'm pleased to have it so yeah this is the 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 half plant that i've added to my collection It's certainly not the variegated type which is very uh expensive at the moment um, i do have a variegated uh bow mark uh again you know similar leaf shape very different growing styles um but yeah i mean it's the best of both worlds guys I've got the variegation on on the on the bow marks and i've got it <laughs> I've got its genes or genetics in this plant, so I can't complain. What a year it has been. Um, it, it's crazy. It's only when I look back at some of those older videos uh, and I look at my collection now that I, I see how much it's grown. Um, and I'm really, I'm really pleased. I think I've, I've been trying to grow it steadily. Um, I've been looking at, uh, there was a period in time when I was just, yeah, I was just buying a plant every couple of weeks. Um, yes, and I've sort of really calmed calm down but yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with where my collection has got gotten to um they i will be releasing another video looking at the plants that i want for 2022 so that so look out for that that's going to be coming out shortly and i just think yeah I've, I've, it's, it's been an amazing year an amazing journey it's only about a year ago that i started youtube and i've you know i've built up a a very you know amazing community of of subscribers so thank you guys so much for your support it really does motivate me and keeps me going um yeah and i just love to share the love of plants and the joy that it brings me and share that with you all um so yeah so 2022 i'm looking forward to um and i hope to carry on that journey with you guys so thank you so much for watching and as always keep planting <music>